Manly seems pretty happy with the situation so far. Just the outsides of the ears. Good feel, Millie. Bath day. She's going to be smelling lovely soon. Get all of her areas washed. She's such a good girl, she tolerates it really well. Soon you'll see Angus, who doesn't tolerate it as well. It makes all manner of noise sometimes. Good girl, Millie. When the hounds are done with their bath, it's customary for them to get a treat. Today they've got pig's ears on special. I suspect that's what they'll be choosing. They've got them on a stand right at hound level. Good girl, Millie. Next comes the flea shampoo. Not a problem we've ever had with these hounds. Thankfully, not one flea. I think it's a combination of flea shampoo and a healthy diet and healthy dogs and probably our climate. It's not a problem we've had and we don't get ticks, thankfully. Good girl, Millie. Good girl. Very good setup here. We don't have to get soaking wet along with the dog. Angus is having his bath. He's been a very good boy today. He's been known to howl his head off while he's been having a bath. But today, he's a very good boy. Nice bit of flea shampoo. I think we're up to the conditioning part now. That leaves them nice and smooth and they smell fantastic. Gets rid of all the stains and gunk off their legs and gels. Normally we bathe them once a week here and then if it gets extra dirty Normally with sheep poop, you'll have an extra bath at home and that's usually just with a weak dog shampoo solution. I'm told it's not that good for their skin for them to have lots of baths. So we try to keep it to one a week if we can. But Mr. Rolling here Face rinsed, oh, he's getting his face rinsed. He won't like that. That's just plain water. But it makes Angus a little bit sad. He's less than impressed. Millie's already had her bath. She was a very good girl. Always is. 31 kilos. They've been on the scales, Millie's 31 kilos, fatty fat fat, and Angus is 29.6 I think, but he's bigger framed and a year younger, we expect him to be... to keep the weight off them. Millie's post spaying. So we found it a little bit harder to keep the weight off her since she's spaying. But Angus is so active that we don't have any trouble at all keeping him 
slim and our vet tells us that he's in perfect shape.